trauma or these stresses cut horizontally through every issue. Every class, every race, every demographic in society, trauma affects. So as Frank alluded to, we're in the process of moving towards forming our own uh, nonprofit, an entity uh, which uh, will become SWIM. And uh, for that, accomplished that um, there's a lot of great grassroots organizations doing this work, and we need to identify them. We had a panel of experts from all different disciplines talking about the disparities and the root cause that they all mentioned was trauma. If we want to address the disparities and really you know, make our city healthier and promote healing, we had to address that trauma. And so after that event, we just called together anyone who was there to come back to talk about what we could do. And we started a year ago last January with about 30 people. The work is out there for us to do. We need to do the work, but we can't do it by ourselves. We collectively need to do it together. One of the things that we're, we really need to focus on and work on is getting more of the community involved and the community voice at the table. We know what the issues are. We know what the solutions are. Let's just get to work. There's misconceptions that we're somehow saying we have the answers and we here's this new thing that is going to solve all the problems. That's not at all swims intention at all. It's to connect people and to be that catalyst and to help scale things. We're together because we're definitely more stronger together than we are apart. Milwaukee is unfortunately known for things that um, we're not proud of. Uh, the most segregated city in the nation, um, high levels of incarceration. These are things that an understanding of trauma and appreciation for how to help heal can impact in a positive way. SWIM, is, I think, is an important effort for our community because it brings together people who are concerned about trauma, not just on an individual level, but also on a community level, and the impact that trauma has on children, on families, and on neighborhoods. We have to come together across racial lines, across geographic lines, um, and understand that trauma that impacts any segment of this community impacts all of the community. I know a lot of y'all have heard about 53206. We talk about it all the time, but 53206 is the the whole city is 53206. Um, and we are not addressing the root causes of why we have a zip code that is the most incarcerated, most centralized poverty. Um, and so the more that we can come together across professions, across different disciplines, to really look at how do we prevent trauma on the front end, and then also how do we provide opportunities for healing um, and resilience on the back end is critically important. We have to lift the entire boat. Right. So those who have cannot say it is not my problem. It's all of us, all the collective, have to first acknowledge. It's like the 12-step program, right? Raise your hand and admit you have a problem. And then let's all rally around what do we do to fix this problem. And we are taking back the narrative to show people the beauty in Milwaukee. I don't care how much negativity comes from this city. Like, I could never leave. I've left this city three times, and I've always come back here. We have to all work together, and everybody has um, different experiences to bring to it. And so part of what we do is we raise awareness around, first of all, what some of the challenges are, you know, raising the trauma in our city, and then awareness of some of the great things that are already happening. SWIM is open to anyone. Um, it is a community collaborative. I think we really could achieve what Mike and Amy Lovell want, which is to make Milwaukee the most trauma-informed city in the United States, and I really believe we can do that. But then we have to match that with well-trained professionals 
that when you do experience trauma, that we have the proper care. We have an infrastructure set up for you to be healed. That is what I think will set us apart from other cities around the nation, is that infrastructure. And that's what it's all about, is, is, is creating that infrastructure which will sit on a bed of technology that allows a person, once you recognize that there's something fundamentally wrong here, that you could enter the system in any place and that you will get access to the healing as quickly as possible. She was speaking the language of what we hope to accomplish. Today. I feel like SWIM is early in its journey and so I think it, people are at least committed to taking that journey together um, and I think we can define collectively where that journey goes. But I think everyone agrees that as a community, we can do better to prevent trauma. And so the more that we can come together and remain committed to this cause, the better.